Hi guys, so there's one more thing I want to share with you from the pantry cleaning epic. <laughs> um, so there's something that I forgot to mention. I told you about, you know, several things that we found in there that I, <laughs> that I found interesting. But one of the things I forgot to mention is we found, you know, well, we found a bunch of, you know, old, old <laughs> wines and liquors that have been untouched forever. And some of them were just, you know, these half-finished bottles of wine that had been there literally for decades. And, you know, they looked like they would have been interesting. Like, there was this one raspberry wine that seemed like, ooh, that, that might have been very interesting to try 20 years ago when it was first opened. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, when, you know, when I popped the, the tops on those, they were just, just gr like grainy and disgusting. So, yeah, they went straight down the sink. But this one bottle, completely unopened, unlabeled also, and I looked at it, and it appeared somewhat clear, translucent, like it, like it wasn't wine anymore, but vinegar. Because, you know, that's actually how you make vinegar, is by aging wine past the point of being wine. You know, when you break, you break down sugar to get ethanol, and then if you keep breaking down the ethanol, it eventually turns into the acids that make vinegar what it is. In fact, you know, the, the word, you know, vinegar is from the Latin for sour wine. <laughs> that's, that's how it's made. You know, same thing with, you know, rice wine vinegar. You take sake and just keep aging it and doing, I don't, you know, I don't know what the official process is, but it keeps turning it into, you know, something, you know, extra potent and tart and not alcoholic anymore. <laughs> so... I, I kept this bottle, and you can see, you can see that it is more see-through, more translucent than normal wine. And I was wondering if it actually might have t accidentally turned into real vinegar. If it actually, it might actually taste like red wine vinegar. And if it does, I'm gonna keep it and use it. Like, why throw all this away? <laughs> you know, but I, you know, I do want to test it first to make sure that's the case. And if, it, and if it does turn out to be okay, I'm going to get a new cork, because this one's kind of garbage. But, yeah, I'm going to A-B it right now against this professionally made red wine vinegar and see if they're remotely similar, in which case I'll, I'm going to you know, make some dressing out of this and you know, do what I don't know what yet, but uh, there's plenty of it to use. And it, you know, if it is actually vinegar, then it's not going to go bad anymore. Vinegar, vinegar does not spoil. It has too much acid. You know, bacteria and stuff cannot get a purchase in something with this much acid. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this open and you know, sample it and see if it's worth it. So, first of all, let me just pop this thing open. This, this is called a church key, by the way. Wrong, 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 wrong. smells a little more like wine than vinegar does but it's not a very strong smell it's you know it's a, a little more subdued than than wine it's more subdued than it has okay it has less of a wine smell than vinegar but it doesn't have the same you know potency as this like if i take a whiff of this stuff it's just punches you right in the nose it is sharp and that's because you know it has other stuff added to it because it's you know commercially made. Let's see, uh, red wine vinegar, water, potassium metabisulfite. 
So yeah, it's, you know, sulfite, sulfur. That's why it smells so strong, and that also makes it more acidic. You know, again, to prevent bacteria from taking hold. But you know, again, once it gets this way, it probably won't be a problem anyway. But anyway, let's let's try this out and see if it works. And, you know, I've got a I've got a palate cleanser bread over here between them, so because I want to be able to judge them fairly. And I'm just gonna take a tiny bit because I'm not trying to barf today. And now we try this one. Don't spill it. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll, I'll pour a little more so we can get a better judge of the color difference here. So, if you look at those, yeah, this one's a little more pink. And this one's got a darker red to it. And again, it's because they diluted th this with a little bit of water in addition to adding the, the sulfite to it. But yeah, they look like they're in the same realm, the same genre. So let's let's give it a try. Let's see if it's worth anything. All right, so first, the professional stuff. Yeah, so. So, of course, it was never meant to be. It was never meant to be drunk like that. <coughs> but, you know, and you know, I already know what that tastes like, and yeah. I'm not going to be salivating way too much. Ah, here, bread. Oh, no, that's better. Okay. So. If you've ever tasted red wine vinegar before, I don't need to explain. But you know, it's you know, it's sharp, and it's you know, it, it, it's it actually, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, it, you know, obviously I wouldn't want to drink a full glass of it, but it, it was actually not as unpleasant as I was fearing. Hmm. So now, another bite of red. We have the moment of truth. Let's see if this one will actually be worth keeping around. Mm -hmm. yeah. it smells kind of like wine. And again, much milder. Mmm! That's actually not bad at all. That's, again, not nearly as strong as this. And I kind of like it better that way. Like, this this is overwhelming. And this one is actually not bad. I, I kind of like this. Like, I don't, even, I don't even need the bread after this. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Like, it tastes... You know, it tastes like the memory of red wine. But it doesn't have the, you know, it doesn't have the sting of alcohol or the punch of sulfur like that one does. And this, I say this is a winner. I like it. I'm, yeah, I am officially keeping this. I, this, yeah. I, we have, we have vinegar. We have our accidental, accidental red wine vinegar. I, I'm, I'm happy with this. I will, like, I'm, I'm actually going to try a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm amazed. Like, I'm, I'm amazed it's even as, as palatable as it is. Like, this is, ah. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, hmm. Now, here's a test for you. What's going to happen if I put the two of these together? Maybe a little bit more of this one, so it's more 50-50. Okay. Now, see how they get along. Hmm. Can't tell this one. This one overwhelms the taste. But this one does subdue that a little bit, so I don't... I'm not coughing like I was before, so this one does 
help tone it down a little more. But yeah, man. We have vinegar. <laughs> I'm keeping this bottle. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, I'm, yeah. I, you know, I get a free, like, wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got nothing else to say. This was a success. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm going to, you know, figure out things to do with this. Because, you know, this is just for standard salad dressings and stuff. Maybe I'll try making a dressing out of this. Maybe I'll try cooking something else with it. Maybe I'll, ooh, a marinade. A marinade made out of this. That'll be good. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start making plans for this stuff, get a new cork for it. In fact, I've got, I've got a bunch of... We, we hang on to old, you know, ceiling, you know, apparatuses like um, twist ties and those plastic things you find on the ends of bread bags. Anyway, we hang on, we have a bunch of old corks in there, so the, the, I definitely have something to seal this up with. So I'm going to keep this, I'm going to figure out things to make out of it, and I... smooth. <laughs> I am going to have a lot of fun with this bottle. So, that was a rousing success, I'm happy to say. So, thanks as always, guys, for watching. Go try some of my recipes. If they're good, tell me how much you like them. If they suck, tell me how to fix them. While you're down there, go ahead and ask your questions and leave suggestions. You know how YouTube works. Do all the things, and I'll see you in the kitchen.